morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's wonderful to see you all here and worship with us this morning. Special welcome, of course, goes to those who are here, uh, special guests. The uh, first time that you are here, we are so glad that you are in worship with us. Uh, and we sure hope and pray that this is going to be, for all of you, a time of spiritual growth uh, and an opportunity to be in the presence of God. Of course, we welcome all of you who are watching us uh, through YouTube. We are also so great, even though we don't know where you are, we are really happy that you are here with us today. And I think that is it. Wonderful. Let us know. Well, yeah, always volunteers need it, and they will be great if you can consider uh, signing up for fellowship or uh, also for greeting. Let us now enter into worship and have this time of memory and celebration of life start. Good morning, everyone. So happy to see those smiling faces out there on this special day. Would you please stand and join me in the call to worship? We remember, O oh God, the countless saints of history who have blazed a trail of courage through time. We remember, O oh God, the tender touch of loved ones the example of heroes, the healing words of comforters, the remarkable acts of fearless ones. We remember, O oh God, the gentle strength of grandmothers, the loyalty of friends, the kindness of strangers, the joy of children, the sacrifice of parents. We remember, O oh God, the supreme love of Jesus, the blessing of his spirit, the reminder of his words, the sharing of his suffering, the glory of his resurrection, shone forth in the lives of his disciples, young and old, dead and living, articulate and silent, strange and familiar, brilliant and ordinary. Remember in every time and place the saints of God who have shown us the Lord, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us worship God with joy. Please remember today is Matthew 5, verses 1 through 12. Now when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on a mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them. He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks, be, to Thanks God. be to God. The second reading is from Revelation, chapter 7, verses 7 through 17. After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count for every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. And they cried out in a loud voice, 
Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, saying, Amen, praise and glory, and wisdom and thanks and honor, and power and strength. Be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes, who are they, and where do they come from? Answered, Sir, do you know? And he said, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them while in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not be down on them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to, to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. This is a, a time has come for us to uh, really um, think back and uh, celebrate those who are gone by lighting a candle in their memory. Uh, so I will invite you all to uh, come and uh, um, use the microphone if you feel so called. If you are uncomfortable, I can repeat the name and if you tell me who is the person. And then again, as I mentioned, you can just pick up your tea light candle and light it on the Christ candle and put it back in place. For Harriet Marks. For my sister, Lois Schwartz. For our daughter, Sherry Ann Graycheck, a wife, a mother, January 8, 2023. For our mom, Sue Lewinsky. For my brother's son, Eric. For our dad, Paul Anthony Wochak. For our friend Phil Desjardin. For our son Nathan Nolenberg. For our mother Rena Knork. For my sister in law's granddaughter Charlotte Frank. Say Akpun. For our dear friend Dick Schaff. For Dorothy Rohde. For my sister Sherry Padgett. friend of 59 years, Darcy Hunter. For Sandy's sister, Monty Aldrich.
for our dear friend, Darlene Poppy. For our nephew, Owen Zingler. For my sister, Mary. For my daughter, Carol, who passed away on Halloween. For my favorite troublemaker, Sue Lewinsky. one for my uh, mother Mary, for my father Lawrence, my brother Ronnie, and last I want to say it for my stepfather Vincent. brother-in-law Wally Nelson for Jim Nguyen wife Carol for Ruth Teschner brother Robert Knapp. For Buzz Elwood. For Bev for Carol Binder for all those across the world who have died from war or famine or terror together in singing Amazing Grace.
please join with me in the prayer and memory. Loving, Loving God, God, a candle burns in my heart, heart and, warms and warms my soul. soul. It, never it never flickers. It, it never wanes. It is, it is in the memory of those I love who are, who are now, now at home, home with you. I, I ask you to keep them close to your heart. Keep, keep them in the bright flame of your love. Your love. You know, you know our, our hearts and share our, our sorrows. We are, we are hurt by our parting from, from those who we loved. loved. When we and when we are angry at the loss, we have a when we, when we long, long for, for words of comfort, comfort yet find them, them hard, to hear, hard to hear, turn our grief to truer living, our affliction to firmer hope, our despair into eternal life. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. to follow the communion uh, uh, liturgy uh, through uh, what you see in the screen and join me for the bold part. For all those uh, we have mentioned in your presence, God, we give thanks and come gladly to this table to eat once more with those we love, to join with all the saints, all our saints, in praising Jesus Christ who defeated death and lead us all to God's heavenly banquet, all are welcome here. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and good, a joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, 
creator of heaven and earth, the God of Abraham and Sarah, God of Miriam and Moses, the God of Joshua and Deborah, God of Ruth and David, God of the priests and the prophets, God of Mary and Joseph, God of the apostles and God of the martyrs, the God of our mothers and our fathers, God of our children to all generation and so with your people, on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and mighty, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ, by the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection. You gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciple, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which has been given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to the Father, and gave it to the disciple and said, drink from this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant. Pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you remember, drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of this mighty act of Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, died, Christ risen, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine, make them be for us the body and the blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. This is the body of Christ that has been given for you, Bob. Michelle, the body of Christ given for you. Peggy, the body of Christ that has been given for you. Doug, the body of Christ given for you. And the blood of Christ given for you. Blood of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ given for you and for you. As uh, always the case, I always feel that it's very important to uh, remember that this communion, this table is open for everyone. This communion, it's not my table, it's not my communion, it's not the church, but it's God's. And because we're all children of God, everyone, no matter what your background, no matter where you are today in your journey with God, you are welcome here. You are children of the Father. So everyone is welcome to join us for this communion this morning. Please come. This table has been prepared for all of you. As we prepare to leave and go and enjoy today refreshment, there are served uh, by the family of Sue Levinsky, and that's why you can also enjoy all those pictures to remember Sue that has been such a big part of our ministry for many years. And so as we go on during this day, uh, we, uh, let's hope that we can hold, hold this time, uh, precious time of memory that have been given to us today. In love, sometime in sadness, sometime in anger, but always, always in hope. And may God bless you all 
as you go forward. Amen.